The Visigothic Kingdom or Kingdom of the Visigoths Latin, Regnum Gothorum was a kingdom that occupied what is now southwestern France and the Iberian Peninsula from the 5th to the 8th centuries. One of the Germanic successor states to the Western Roman Empire, it was originally created by the settlement of the Visigoths under King Wallia in the province of Aquitaine in southwest France by the Roman government and then extended by conquest over all of the Iberian Peninsula. The kingdom maintained independence from the Eastern Roman or Byzantine Empire, the attempts of which to re-establish Roman authority in Iberia were only partially successful and short-lived. The Visigoths were considered the most civilized among the barbarians, and considered themselves heirs of the Roman Empire. The Goths were the first people to invade Rome and to defeat a Roman emperor in battle. The Visigoths became Fodorati of Rome, and wanted to restore the Roman order against the hordes of Vandals, Alans, and Suevi. The Roman Empire fell in 476 AD, therefore, the Visigoths believed they had the right to take the territories that Rome had promised in Hispania in exchange for restoring the Roman order, sometimes referred to as the Regnum Tolosanum or Kingdom of Toulouse after its capital Toulouse in modern historiography. The kingdom lost much of its territory in Gaul to the Franks in the early 6th century, save the narrow coastal strip of Septimania, but the Visigoth control of Iberia was secured by the end of that century with the submission of the Subi. The kingdom of the 6th and 7th centuries is sometimes called the Regnum Toletanum after the new capital of Toledo. The ethnic distinction between the indigenous Hispano-Roman population and the Visigoths had largely disappeared by this time the Gothic language lost its last and probably already declining function as a church language when the Visigoths converted to Catholicism in 589. The Visigothic Code completed in 654 abolished the old tradition of having different laws for Romans and for Visigoths. Most of the Visigothic Kingdom was conquered by Umayyad troops from North Africa in 711 AD, with only the northern reaches of Spain remaining in Christian hands. These gave birth to the medieval kingdom of Asturias when a local landlord called Palaio, most likely of Gothic origin, was elected princeps by the Astures. The Visigoths and their early kings were Arians and came into conflict with the Catholic Church, but after they converted to Nicene Christianity, the Church exerted an enormous influence on secular affairs through the councils of Toledo. The Visigoths also developed the highly influential law code known in Western Europe as the Visigothic Code Liber Uditorum, which would become the basis for Spanish law throughout the Middle Ages. History. Federate Kingdom From 407 to 409 AD, an alliance of Germanic Vandals, Iranian Alans and Germanic Subi crossed the frozen Rhine and swept across modern France and into the Iberian Peninsula. For their part, the Visigoths under Alaric famously sacked Rome in 410, capturing Galla Placidia, the sister of Western Roman Emperor Honorius. Atolf, king of the Visigoths from 410 to 415, spent the next few years operating in the Gallic and Hispanic countrysides, diplomatically playing competing factions of Germanic and Roman commanders against one another to skillful effect, and taking over cities such as Narbonne and Toulouse in 413. After he married Placidia, the emperor Honorius enlisted him to provide Visigothic assistance in regaining nominal Roman control of Hispania from the Vandals, Alans, and Subi. In 418, Honorius rewarded his Visigothic federates under King Wallia reigned 415 to 419 by giving them land in the Garan Valley of Gallia Aquitania on which to settle. This probably took place under Hospitalitas, the rules for billeting army soldiers. It seems likely that at first the Visigoths were not given a large amount of land estates in the region as previously believed, but that they acquired the taxes of the region, with the local Gallic aristocrats now paying their taxes to the Visigoths instead of to the Roman government. The Visigoths with their capital at Toulouse, remained de facto independent, and soon began expanding into Roman territory at the expense of the feeble Western Empire. Under Theodoric I (418–451), the Visigoths attacked Arles in 425 and 430, and Narbonne (436), but were checked by Flavius Aetius using Hunnic mercenaries, and Theodoric was defeated in 438. By 451, the situation had reversed and the Huns had invaded Gaul. Now Theodoric fought under Aetius against Attila the Hun in the Battle of the Catalaunian Plains. 
Attila was driven back, but Theodoric was killed in the battle. The Vandals completed the conquest of North Africa when they took Carthage on October 19, 439, and the Suevi had taken most of Hispania. The Roman Emperor Avidus now sent the Visigoths into Hispania. Theodoric II 453 invaded and defeated the king of the Suevi, Richarius, at the battle on the river Orbigo in 456 near Asturica Augusta Astorga and then sacked Bracara Augusta Braga, the Suevi capital. The Goths sacked the cities in Spain quite brutally, they massacred a portion of the population and even attacked some holy places, probably due to the clergy's support of the Suevi. Theoderic took control over Hispania Baetica, Carthaginiensis and southern Lusitania. In 461, the Goths received the city of Narbonne from the emperor Libius Severus in exchange for their support. This led to a revolt by the army and by Gallo-Romans under Aegidius. As a result, Romans under Severus and the Visigoths fought other Roman troops, and the revolt ended only in 465. Kingdom of Toulouse In 466, Euric, who was the youngest son of Theodoric I, came to the Visigothic throne. He is infamous for murdering his elder brother Theodoric II who had himself become king by murdering his elder brother Thorismund. Under Euric 466 the Visigoths began expanding in Gaul and consolidating their presence in the Iberian Peninsula. Euric fought a series of wars with the Subi who retained some influence in Lusitania, and brought most of this region under Visigothic power, taking Emerita Augusta in 469. Euric also attacked the Western Roman Empire, capturing Hispania Terraconensis in 472, the last bastion of Roman rule in Spain. By 476, he had extended his rule to the Rhone and the Loire rivers which comprised most of southern Gaul. He also occupied the key Roman cities of Arles and Marseille. In his campaigns, Euric had counted on a portion of the Gallo-Roman and Hispano-Roman aristocracy who served under him as generals and governors. The Visigothic kingdom was formally recognized when the Western Emperor Julius Nepos signed an alliance with Euric, granting him the lands south of the Loire and west of the Rhône in exchange for military service and the lands in Provence including Arles and Marseille. The lands in Hispania remained under de facto Visigothic control. After Odoacer deposed the last Roman emperor in the west, Romulus Augustulus, Euric quickly recaptured Provence, a fact which Odoacer formally accepted in a treaty. By 500, the Visigothic kingdom, centered at Toulouse, controlled Gallia Aquitania and Gallia Narbonensis and most of Hispania with the exception of the Subic kingdom of Galicia in the northwest and small areas controlled by independent Iberian peoples, such as the Basques and the Cantabrians. Euric's son Alaric II issued a new body of laws, the Breviarium Alarici and held a church council at Agde. The Visigoths now came into conflict with the Franks under their king Clovis I, who had conquered northern Gaul. Following a brief war with the Franks, Alaric was forced to put down a rebellion in Terraconensis, probably caused by recent Visigoth immigration to Hispania due to pressure from the Franks. In 507, the Franks attacked again, this time allied with the Burgundians. Alaric II was killed at the Battle of Campus Vogladensis near Poitiers, and Toulouse was sacked. By 508, the Visigoths had lost most of their Gallic holdings save Septimania in the south. <laughs> Arian Kingdom of Hispania After Alaric II's death, his illegitimate son Gesalic took power until he was deposed by Theodoric the Great, ruler of the Ostrogothic Kingdom, who invaded and defeated him at Barcelona. Gesalic fled and regrouped, but was defeated again at Barcelona, and was captured and killed. Theodoric then installed his grandson Amalaric (511–531), the son of Alaric II, as king. Amalaric, however, was still a child and power in Spain remained under the Ostrogothic general and regent, the Eudes. Only after Theodoric's death 526 did Amalaric obtain control of his kingdom. His rule did not last long, as in 531, Amalaric was defeated by the Frankish king Childebert I and then murdered at Barcelona. Afterwards, the Eudes became king. He expanded Visigothic control over the southern regions, but he was also murdered after a failed invasion of Africa. 
Visigothic Spain suffered a civil war under King Agila I which prompted the Roman, Byzantine Emperor Justinian I to send an army and carve out the small province of Spania for the Byzantine Empire along the coast of southern Spain. Agila was eventually killed, and his enemy Athanagild became the new king. He attacked the Byzantines, but he was unable to dislodge them from southern Spain, and was obliged to formally acknowledge the suzerainty of the empire. The next Visigothic king was Luvigild, 569 April 21, 586. He was an effective military leader and consolidated Visigothic power in Spain. Luvigild campaigned against the Romans in the south in the 570s and he took back Cordova after another revolt. He also fought in the north against the Subi and various small independent states, including the Basques and the Cantabrians. He pacified northern Spain, but was unable to completely conquer these peoples. When Luvigild established his son Hermenegild as joint ruler, a civil war ensued between them. Hermenegild became the first Visigothic king to convert to Nicene Christianity due to his ties with the Romans, but he was defeated in 584 and killed in 585. By the end of his reign, Luvigild had united the entire Iberian Peninsula, including the Subic Kingdom which he conquered in 585 during a Subi civil war that ensued after the death of King Miro. Luvigild established amicable terms with the Franks through royal marriages, and they remained at peace throughout most of his reign. Luvigild also founded new cities, such as Recopolis and Victoriacum Vittoria, the first barbarian king to do so. Catholic Kingdom of Toledo On becoming king, Luvigild's son Recardi converted from Arian to Chalcedonian Christianity. This led to some unrest in the kingdom, notably a revolt by the Arian bishop of Merida which was put down, he also beat back another Frankish offensive in the north. Recard then oversaw the Third Council of Toledo in 589, where he announced his faith in the Nicene Creed and denounced Arian. He adopted the name Flavius, the family name of the Constantinian dynasty, and styled himself as the successor to the Roman emperors. Recard also fought the Byzantines in Hispania Baetica after they had begun a new offensive. Recared's son Luva II became king in 601, but was deposed by the Visigothic noble Witturic (603–610), ending the short-lived dynasty. There were various Visigothic kings between 610 and 631, and this period saw constant regicide. This period also saw the definitive conquest of the Byzantine territories in the south. War continued in the north against the Basques and Asturians, as indeed it would continue for the rest of the Visigothic Kingdom's existence. These kings also worked on religious legislature, especially King Sisibut (612–621), who passed several harsh laws against Jews and forced many Jews to convert to Christianity. Sisibut was also successful against the Byzantines, taking several of their cities, including Malaga. The Byzantines were finally defeated by Suintila (621–631), who had captured all of their Spanish holdings by 625. Suintila was deposed by the Franks and replaced by Sisinand. The instability of this period can be attributed to the power struggle between the kings and the nobility. Religious unification strengthened the political power of the church, which it exercised through church councils at Toledo along with the nobles. The Fourth Council, held during the brief reign of Sisinand in 633, excommunicated and exiled the king, replacing him with Chintila 636 The church councils were now the most powerful institution in the Visigothic state, they took the role of regulating the process of succession to the kingship by election of the king by Gothic noble senators and the church officials. They also decided to meet on a regular basis to discuss ecclesiastical and political matters affecting the church. Finally, they decided the kings should die in peace, and declared their persons sacred, seeking to end the violence and regicides of the past. Despite all this, another coup took place and Chintila was deposed in 639, and King Tulga took his place. He was also deposed in the third year of his reign and the council elected the noble Chindajuanth as king. The reigns of Chindajuanth and his son Rekiswinth saw the compilation of the most important Visigothic law book, the Liber Udichorum, completed in 654. The code included old laws by past kings, such as Alaric II in his Breviarium Alarici, and Leovigild, but many were also new laws. 
The code was based almost wholly on Roman law, with some influence of Germanic law in rare cases. The new laws applied to both Gothic and Spanish populations who had been under different laws in the past, and it replaced all older codes of law. Among the eliminated old laws were the harsh laws against Jews. The Liber showed the old system of military and civil divisions in administration was changing, and dukes and counts had begun taking more responsibilities outside their original military and civil duties. The servants or slaves of the king became very prominent in the bureaucracy and exercised wide administrative powers. With the Visigoth law codes, women could inherit land and title and manage it independently from their husbands or male relations, dispose of their property in legal wills if they had no heirs, and could represent themselves and bear witness in court by age 14 and arrange for their own marriages by age 20. Chindajuanth strengthened the monarchy at the expense of the nobility, he executed some 700 nobles, forced dignitaries to swear oaths, and in the Seventh Council of Toledo laid down his right to excommunicate clergy who acted against the government. He was also able to maneuver his son Rekiswinth on the throne, sparking a rebellion by a Gothic noble who allied with the Basques, but was put down. Rekizuanth held another Council of Toledo, which reduced sentences for treason and affirmed the power of the councils to elect kings. Following Rekizuanth, King Wamba was elected king. He had to deal with initial revolts in Terraconensis, and because of this, he felt a need to reform the army. He passed a law declaring all dukes, counts and other military leaders, as well as bishops, had to come to the aid of the kingdom once danger became known or risk harsh punishment. Wamba was eventually deposed in a bloodless coup. King Irvig held further church councils and repealed the previous harsh laws of Wamba, though he still made provisions for the army. Irvig had his son-in-law Agika made king. Despite a rebellion by the Bishop of Toledo, the 16th Council, held in 693, denounced the bishop's revolt. The 17th Council in 694 passed harsh laws against the Jews, citing a conspiracy, and many were enslaved, especially those who had converted from Christianity. Agika also raised his son Widiza as Koruler in 698. Not much is known about his reign, but a period of civil war quickly ensued between his sons Achila and Ardo and King Roderick, who had seized Toledo. <inaudible> <inaudible> Muslim conquest In 711, Tariq ibn Ziyad, a Muslim Berber client of Musa bin Nusayr, the governor of Islamic Africa, invaded Spain with about 7,000 Berber men, while Radaic was in the north fighting the Basques. The tale that Julian, Count of Ceuta, facilitated the invasion, because one of his daughters had been dishonored by Radaic, is both late and mythical. By late July, a battle took place at the Guadalete River in the province of Cadiz. Radaic was betrayed by his troops, who sided with his enemies, and the king was killed in battle. The Muslims then took much of southern Spain with little resistance, and went on to capture Toledo, where they executed several Visigothic nobles. In 712, Musa, the governor of Ifriqiya, arrived with another army of 18,000, with large Arab contingents. He took Merida in 713 and invaded the north, taking Saragossa and Leon, which were still under King Ardo, in 714. After being recalled by the caliph, Musa left his son Abd al-Aziz in command. By 716, most of the Iberian Peninsula was under Islamic rule, with Septimania taken between 721 and 725. The only effective resistance was in Asturias, where a Visigothic nobleman named Pelagius Palayo revolted in 718, allied with the Basques and defeated the Muslims at the Battle of Covadonga. Resistance also continued in the regions around the Pyrenees with the establishment of the Marca Hispanica from 760 to 785. The Berbers settled in the south and the Meseta Central in Castile. Initially, the Muslims generally left the Christians alone to practice their religion, although non-Muslims were subject to Islamic law and treated as second-class citizens. <laughs> Visigothic settlements. 
Visigothic settlement was concentrated along the Garonne River between Bordeaux and Toulouse in Aquitaine, and later in Spain and Portugal around the Ebro River, around the city of Mérida, between the upper reaches of the Douro River, in Tierra de Campos, also known as Campi Gothorum, in central Castile and Leon, Asturias and Toledo, and along the Tagus River north of Lisbon. Little Visigothic settlement occurred elsewhere in the kingdom. Founding of cities The Visigoths founded the only new cities in Western Europe between the 5th and 8th centuries. It is certain through contemporary Spanish accounts that they founded four, and a possible fifth city is ascribed to them by a later Arabic source. All of these cities were founded for military purposes and three of them in celebration of victory. The first, Recopolis, was founded by Luvigild in 578 after his victory over the Franks, near what is today the tiny village of Zorita de los Canes. He named it after his son Recaird and built it with Byzantine imitations, containing a palace complex and mint, but it lay in ruins by the 9th century after the Arab conquest. At a slightly later date, Luvigild founded a city he named Victoriacum after his victory over the Basques. Though it is often supposed to survive as the city of Vitoria, contemporary 12th-century sources refer to the latter city's foundation by Sancho VI of Navarre. Luvigild's son and namesake of the first Visigothic city founded his own sometime around 600. It is referred to by Isidore of Seville as Lugo id est Lucio in the Asturias, built after a victory over the Asturians or Canterbury. The fourth and possibly final city of the Goths was Ologicus, perhaps Ologitus, founded using Basque labour in 621 by Suintilla as a fortification against the recently subjected Basques. It is to be identified with modern Olite, the possible fifth Visigothic foundation is Bayara, perhaps modern Mentoro, mentioned as founded by Recaird in the geography of Kitab al Rad al Matar. <laughs> Culture and classical heritage The Visigothic rule has often been attributed to be a part of the so-called Dark Ages, a time of cultural and scientific decay reversed only by Muslim Andalusia. Through the course of their existence the Visigoths supposedly remained, "...men of the woods never strayed too far from there," as Thomas F. Glick puts it. However, in fact, the Visigoths were preservers of the classical culture. The bathing culture of Andalusia, for example, often said to be a Muslim invention, is a direct continuation of Romano-Visigothic traditions. Visigothic Merida housed baths supplied with water by aqueducts, and such aqueducts are also attested in Córdoba, Cadiz and Recopolis. Excavations confirm that Recopolis and Toledo, the Visigothic capital, were heavily influenced by the contemporary Byzantine architecture. When the Muslims looted Spain during their conquest they were amazed by the fine and innumerable Visigothic treasures. A few of these treasures were preserved as they were buried during the invasion, e.g., the votive crowns from the treasure of Garazar. While only the senior monks were allowed to read books of non-Christian or heretic authors this did not prevent the rise of intellectuals like, most prominently, Isidore of Seville, one of the most quoted scholars of the Middle Ages, Eugenius I of Toledo, an expert in mathematics and astronomy, or Theodulf of Orléans, a theologian and poet who, after he had fled to the Frankish kingdom, participated in the Carolingian Renaissance. A Muslim source referred to Visigothic Seville as the "...abode of the sciences." The Institutionum Disciplinae from the mid-7th, early 8th century confirms that Visigothic nobles were not only taught in reading and writing, but also in medicine, law and philosophy. An example of a highly educated nobleman was King Sisibut, who was a patron of learning and writer of poems, one of them about astronomy. <laughs> List of kings Turving kings These kings and leaders, with the exception of Fritigern and possibly Alavivus, were pagans. Athanaric 369-381 Rothestius, sub-king Wingeric, sub-king Alavivus c. 376, rebel against Valens Fritigern c. 376 c. 380, rebel against Athenaric and Valens. 
Balti dynasty These kings were Arians followers of the theological teaching of Arius. They tended to succeed their fathers or close relatives on the throne and thus constitute a dynasty, the Balti. Alaric I Athelf Sigaric Walia Theodoric I Thorismund Theodoric II 453 to 466 Euric 466 to 484 Alaric II 484 to 507 Gesalic 507 to 511 Theoderic the Great 511 to 526 Regent Amalaric 526 to 531 Post-Balti kings The Visigothic monarchy took on a completely elective character with the fall of the Balti, but the monarchy remained Arian until Recared I converted in 587 Hermenegild had also converted earlier. Only a few sons succeeded their fathers to the throne in this period. The Eudas 531-548 the Udigazel, 548 to 549. Agila I, 549 to 554. Athanagild, 554 to 568. Luva I, 568 to 572, only ruled in Narbonensis from 569. Luvigild, 569 to 586, ruled only south of the Pyrenees until 572. Hermenegild 580 to 585 sub king in Baetica Recared I 580 to 601 son sub king in Narbonensis until 586 first catholic king Sega 586 to 587 rebel Argument 589 to 590 rebel Luva II 601 to 603 son Witteric 603 to 610 Gundamar 610 to 612 Sisibut 612 to 621 Recared 2 621 son Suintilla 621 to 631 Rexamer 626 to 631 son and associate Sisinand 631 to 636 Udila 632 to 633 rebel Chintila 636 to 640 Tolga 640 to 641 Chindajuanth 641 to 653 Rekiswanth 649 to 672 son initially co-king Froya 653 rebel Wamba 672 to 680 Hilduric 672 rebel Paul 672 to 673 rebel Erwig 680 to 687 Agika 687 to 702 Sunniford 693 rebel Widiza 694 to 710 son initially co-king or sub-king in Gaiaisia Roderick 710 to 711 only in Lusitania and Carthaginiensis Agila II 711 to 714 only in Terraconensis and Narbonensis Opus 712 perhaps in opposition to Roderick and Agila II Ardo 714 to 721 only in Narbonensis Topic King's family tree See also Spanish surnames of Goth origin For evidence of Visigothic taxation, see De Fisco Barcinanense Councils of Toledo Germanic peoples Arianism Protofeudalism
Notes Sources <laughs> <laughs>